I'm David G. Sheshnag.com. What on earth is Kundalini? This video is about the Yamas on the roll with Patanjali today. Patanjali being the incarnation of Sheshnag. Om Namah Sheshnagaya. Anyway, he came to the planet, wrote four chapters on freedom. They're called the Yoga Sutras, the threads of yoga. In chapter 2, verse 30, he mentions the Yamas, which are seen as external or social constraints. The verse says, Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Aparigraha, Brahmacharya, Yama, which states that they're the five Yamas. The first one is Ahimsa which means non-violence, non-violence in thought, non-violence in words, non-violence in deeds, non-violence towards all that there is because that's you. Satya is the second one. That means truth. It means truth according to everything being you, not truth according to your limited interpretation of yourself and how you can manipulate things for self-gain. That is untruth. Truth according to the soul and the spirit being universal and everywhere. And seeing that soul in everyone. The third one is asteya. Which means, or it's a negated steya. a steya which means non-stealing, not taking what isn't yours. It's pretty simple. Not much is yours. But we all work for the benefit of the self so we can justify things that aren't ours. And in our own interpretation, we can manipulate things through our own opinion to justify almost anything me included, but I try not to steal, so to speak. The next one is aparigraha, which is non-covetness, not desiring something that isn't yours, the concept of being content with what is yours, not craving, not desiring, just simply being without the desire for more. Aparigraha. The next yama is brahmacharya, which means continence or purity in the sense of non expression or control over the physical impulses, the physical desires working towards a way that they are maintained and understood and then living according to that. little bit of a challenge in the human form with all the programming going into us, almost impossible. But brahmacharya is like the celibacy of the monks and the priests, although that doesn't work in some contexts because they don't have the right knowledge and the right practices to sublimate the sexual essence. So they have to express it some way and most of the time it's in an imbalanced way. But brahmacharya itself is one component sexual, the other part overall desirous, maintaining and understanding those desires and inhibiting those. So they're not animalistically expressed they're more spiritually refined. There you go. That's a wrap on the Yamas. Social constraints. The first stage of yoga, according to Patanjali. Om Namah Sheshnagaya. Share the world. Peace.